We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and collectors. Thanks for tuning in to another, another video. A little bit different for Midweeker. Um, yeah, decided to put a bit of a uh, video together for the campaign going on amongst the Vintage Collection uh, fan community at the moment called Last Figure Standing. Uh, this is put together by Tim from Boss Bounty, Chris from Bantha Skull, Jason from Yakface, and John uh, Farside of Endor on Instagram. And also, he moderates and runs the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Facebook group. Awesome group. Jump in. Go. Go have some fun. Um, so, basically, going along the same lines of the old the fan polls of old, where Hasbro used to ask fan sites to engage with their with their communities and get feedback. They basically decided to do that. Uh, so they've asked people to go out and you can do this through the links on Last Figure Standing Instagram page. So yeah, you can go and fill in the Google Doc form on the Last Figure Standing Instagram page. All the links are there. Um, so yeah, basically an unranked top 10 figures that you would love to see in the vintage collection. Um, keeping in mind you know, pipelines that already exist. Um, there's not really anything else that's out of the, out of the, uh, out of the ordinary, but just, just keeping in mind the action figures themselves rather than beasts, playset, vehicles. Um, it's all pretty straightforward. Um, so yeah, I decided I wanted to go through my 10 picks. I have submitted them. When you do submit, you do have the option to go back and change a couple um, which I already did from my first submission. I did go back and swap a couple out. Just just a couple others came to mind. Um, so yeah, I decided I wanted to share my top 10. Again, not in any order, no rank. Um, I do have a list right in front of me here, uh, just to refresh my memory. Um, so these are the top 10 figures that I'd love to see come into the vintage collection. And um, yeah, I thought I'd go through each one and a little bit of why. So. So the first one was Sarge Ventress uh, from her appearance in Dark Disciple, which is a novel. So there is some um, attached artwork to that. Um, that's the version of a Sarge Ventress that I'd like to see the most. I, I dare say um, we are probably just going to get a standard Clone Wars Ventress before that. Um, if ever <laughs> before that. Um, but yeah, Ventress is one that's probably well overdue. Um, there's a lot of figure parts out there that could be reused for Ventress um, that are out now. Even thinking of some of the some of the parts of the most recent Morgan Elspeth figure, um, some parts from you know Ray <laughs> from Force Awakens. There's numerous amount of figures they could they could tool from um, to create an Asajj Ventress. But I like the idea of. The version of Asajj from the book Dark Disciple, she has hair back, um, so she has sort of short cropped hair, um, and a yellow lightsaber, which is actually, they've already got the tooling for the lightsaber, because that was the other half of Darth Maul's lightsaber from the Clone Wars mold, which came out a little over a year ago now, probably nearly two years, um, so that's ready to go. Um, but yeah, Asajj Ventress is definitely one I'd love to see. Any sort of version of Asajj, but that was the one I, I decided to pick. Um, and to counterpart with that was Quinlan Voss. Now again, I have done a little custom Quinlan Voss Clone Wars, where I've match, mashed together the existing uh, vintage collection, Quinlan Voss, and an older uh, comic pack version as well, which it, it actually turned out pretty good. Um, any kind of realistic Quinlan Voss from the Clone Wars would be fantastic. Um, but something with his little bit of a darker outfit, uh, such as the artwork depicts in, uh, from the Dark Disciple book. Dark Disciple is probably my favourite canon novel, if not my favourite of all time. Um, canon Legends Inclusive um, probably only probably only beats out Lost Stars as being probably those two of my top books. So. Uh, yeah, Quinlan Voss and Asajj Ventress. My next one is General Leia Organa from The Force Awakens. Um, just from the first outfit you see her in on Takodana, and then later on in the base on Dakar. Um, just basically, we don't have that layer in 5POA. They never did that when The Force Awakens came out. Um, the only layer they did was when they did it in the Black Series um, 3.75 line and that was from her last outfit that she wore at the end of Force Awakens uh, when she was seeing Ray off to go find Luke um, 
So just the just the standard general layer. Um, I've got no more to say, but you know it's lacking representation. Uh, with, that's, that's one we don't have. Force Awakens did do a lot of five POA, and you know I'm happy with those figures in the collection as much as I'd love to see them all updated to you know today's vintage collection standards. Uh, general layer is one I'd, I'd love to include. Um, obviously, there's a multitude of other characters from from that film and the other two sequels that need to be made. Um, but yeah, I decided General Leia, you now we've got a good general uh, Princess Leia, Organa, you know, representation in the line. And, you know, trying to get back and maybe drip feed a few, drip, drip feed a few more sequel figures in the line, uh, I think would be great for the future. Uh, next up, I've decided on Gar Saxon. This is one that I actually went back and swapped out another, another pick. I'm not gonna say what my other pick was. Um, just because it's irrelevant. Gar Saxon, after getting the new pre Vizsla figure, which I have done a review of, please check it out if you haven't seen it. It's it's a mint, mint figure. It's beautiful. Um, I decided Gar Saxon from the Clone Wars is one that could be absolute on the money using those Mandalorian bodies that we've got now in the vintage collection. Um, you know, we had the, the Mandalorian commander with the horns. That looks great. But I'd love to see... Um, Gar Saxon leading leading that crew and if it was made as good as pre Vizsla that would be an absolute cracking figure so yep yeah, that's a that's another pick for me um, despite everything from the original trilogy that we've had over the last couple of years it's been very OT heavy um, which is fine there's nothing wrong with that it's time to revisit the originals I'm talking Luke Han Leia I've decided on Farm Boy Luke um, I think all three need the attention, right? all three, plus Ben Kenobi. Um, they're four figures that really need to be up to modern standards um, for the vintage collection. So yeah, my first pick is Farm Boy Luke. Um, the Ben Kenobi we've got uh, from back from the Legacy Collection, it still holds up to a point. Um, I think what they could do with it today would be absolutely incredible, as well as the other two, Han and Leia. Um, but yeah, Luke is probably my most desired. And that was one that's probably hasn't had the amount of love over the years. We did get the one that was the Death Star Escape in the early days of the Vintage Collection. Um, and then there was a slight retool of that which came out in Lars Homestead set, I think, from memory. This is going back. I have to rack my brain for that one. Um, and yeah, really haven't done anything better than that since. So that's my next vote. Yeah, Farmboy Luke. So yeah, after that, going back to the Clone Wars, Savage Press. I mean, that's a no-brainer. Um, you know, this goes for both scales, I think. But yeah, vintage collection, Savage Press on a card with the mall, you know, sort of realistic style. That'll look, they, those two together would just look absolutely fantastic. Go and make it deluxe too. Do a deluxe in the box, as much as I'd love to see it on a card. Do a deluxe version as well. We can swap him out for his robot arm that the uh, Death Watch give him after he loses that. Um, yeah, no, you could go the shirtless version as well if you wanted to on a vintage card. You know, either way, I'd like him fully armoured, double lightsaber, badass. I reckon, yeah, pre uh, Savage Repress has got to got to happen. Another big one from the Clone Wars, which I think this is going to be a lot of people's big desire figure. Um, General Pong Krell, one of the probably the greatest arcs of Clone Wars. Um, I remember there was a lot of talk back in, what do we mean, 2010, maybe 11, that there apparently was a prototype done for the Clone Wars action figure line. But um, I think it's time. I think it's, <laughs> I think it's time for that figure to make its debut. It's uh, been highly sought after for a long time. All, all the fans want it. It's. Um, it's kind of a no-brainer. It's not going to be a standard vintage collection figure. This would have to be deluxe. I don't think you'd fit that on a... You could fit it on a card, but this is, it's just—it's—it's—it's it's a chunky figure. Multiple lightsabers. Um, it'd probably have to be along the lines of sort of Black Chrysanthemum um, in size. But come on, Hasbro, let's let's get Pong Crow out for the fans. Um, Jocasta New can have an action figure. Pong Crow can have one too. So yeah, coming into the final three on my list, again, completely unranked. Kylo Ren from The Last Jedi. Um, 
it's no secret that I'm a big fan of The Last Jedi, whether you tune out now because of, <laughs> because of that, I don't care, it's fine. Um, yeah, the Kylo Ren uh, Force Awakens figure ah, it's good moments. It, it's that whole sort of head sculpt with the with the scarf and hood intact. I totally did a swap out, um, and I did do a custom uh, Kylo Ren with the unmasked head. So I put that on the uh, that body, trimmed up the cape, and I had a nice custom. I did put a video up or the cut a few years ago now when I did that custom. But um, yeah, I'd love to see. You know, from that, that throne room scene, man, like that's that's peak. That's peak. That's my favourite moment from from the sequel trilogy, I reckon. But yeah, love Kylo Ren. I'd love to see, you know, particularly with the crate look, um, which you know that could do with a re-release at some point too. But I decided to go with Kylo Ren. You know, maybe in a slight retool, and you can release a Rise of Skywalker version with a slightly different helmet. Um, and a hooded and a hooded cape rather than just the sort of standard cape from The Last Jedi here adds a hood on for Rise of Skywalker so you wouldn't have to change too much of the figure to get a second release out um, for that so I went with that um, following on for that uh, Rey from The Last Jedi in her sort of blue outfit that she goes to face Snoke and confront Kylo um, in towards the at the end of the movie uh, that's my favourite outfit of Rey's I love the sort of just the change in colour. Uh, she lets her hair down a little bit, just a little bit more at ease with where she's going, the path she wants to take. Um, and, you know, like most people agree, the outfit doesn't really change all that much through the trilogy. Um, which, you know, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. Um, I kind of reserve the fact that, you know, you could almost repaint that Force Awakens ray um, in some different colours, upgrade the head sculpt. Um, and just put it out that way, I think that would be fine. A few little tweaks here and there, obviously, would, would be needed, but, um, you know, with the very subtle differences in the outfit changes, um, you know, it's, it's more or less a colour change. Yeah, I prefer it to be all, all new tooling and all new look, um, given the technology that they have for the heads with the double barbell joints in the neck these days. Um, yeah, I'd absolutely prefer that, but... I'll take it, and I think she'd look great on a card, especially from the end of the movie where she's just finished lifting the rocks. The hand pushed out forward, I think that would look fantastic. Um, last but not least, one that's on everyone's list, I think. Well, a lot of people are going to have this on their list. They wouldn't be surprised to see this, you know, potentially take out top four, top five spot. Cobb Vanth um, from The Mandalorian. He's one figure that's missing desperately in the Vintage Collection. And um, I, I don't understand why. It's um, He's had two releases in the Black Series, which is cool. You know, I'm, I am I collect both, so I'm not one way or the other. I, I go both. I swing both ways <laughs> when it comes to Star Wars toys. Um, but yeah, Vintage Collection, sorely missing Cobb Band. Um, big integral character. He's awesome. He's got Boba Fett's armor, you know. That's that's one figure that should should be out, you know, and again a chance at a double release with a deluxe version with some effects, bits and pieces, I mean, and do do a speeder <laughs> with Hannigan's speeder. Um, who knows what they could achieve with that? And even even a book of Boba Fett version where he doesn't have the armor, you know, you just take a slight retool, use the same head. Um, you know, you could get multiple releases out of that one. Uh, I think that's kind of a no-brainer. So that's my top 10 list. Um, yeah, Ventress, Quinlan Voss, General Leia, Gar Saxon, Farm Boy Luke, Savage Press, Ponkrell, Kylo Ren from The Last Jedi, Ray from The Last Jedi, and Cobb Van rounding out my top 10. Um, again, that's not in any kind of order. That's just 10 figures that I've picked that I'd really love to see come into the vintage collection. Um, yeah, if you want to have a say, you know, none of this is going through Hasbro, this is this is just fans doing what they want to do, and you know, maybe Hasbro take it as a bit of free marketing, so we'll see what happens, um, and yeah, follow along all the pages, last figure standing, you know, keep an eye on it, go and, go and fill in the forms, have your say, and um, yeah, looking forward to seeing how it all plays out over the next however long it takes for them to do it, a month, two months, I'm not sure, um, but yeah, just wanted to share my 
my figure choices for the lot and uh, yeah let me know in the comments what your top 10 would be and uh, that'd be awesome and yeah go and submit the list <laughs> as well so they can uh, add it in all right folks thank you very much for watching do appreciate it and uh, we'll see you again for some more videos very soon may the force be with you always